Welcome back. In the previous tutorial, we have seen the intuition behind TF-IDF. In this, in this section, we will uh, look at the uh, theoretical application, I mean practical application of TF-IDF. So, uh, to, do, to do this TF-IDF, let me just uh, create, let me just copy the previous data frame that we have for tidy Covid United. This is for bigram. This is I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna calculate the ID values for the um, bigrams that we have already created. So Covid bigram TFID and let me call my previous data frame. We pipe it. Once you pipe, uh, let me count uh, the titles. That's our document identifier. Um, then uh, let me use bigram. Uh, that's what I want to count. Once I count, because I need the end values for um, for counting for calculating TFID value. If you remember from our previous uh, from the intuition from the formula of TFID, so I use the n. That means the number of times the bigram appears in a document, because that's the formula that gives me the um, uh, term frequency. So once you have the term frequency, you can calculate the TFID value. And that's uh, bind tfidf. You use the bind function, bind tfid, uh, bind tfidf function um, from the tidy package, tidy text package. Then you use program. Then I'm using the title, and finally I'm using the n that I have calculated in this in this line of the code. Then I can um, type it, and then after that I can call this um, range function so because i want to see the most common i mean the top or the most influential um, terms uh, using this tfidf matrix the t the value the tfidf i mean the terms that have the highest the bigger number of i mean the bigger tfidf value uh, will be uh, will be that those terms are considered to be uh, more influential so we will arrange it by descending order and then we will ascend the descending order the TFIDF values. So that's it. Uh, once we have run this, we can um, run this and see the head of this TFIDF. So we can see the head of the terms. So we can have a look. Head. What are the most the six most influential terms? Let me see. let me wait a little bit until it calculates. It counts all the bigrams and then it calculates the, uh, you know, the uh, term frequency, inverse document frequency, and then it calculates the um, the dot product of the two values, the term frequency multiplied by inverse document frequency. Now it's already done. We can see the head of this data frame and see how they are arranged. So if you see, um, this is a title. Um, then going through the abstracts, abstracts. Uh, this is one of the bigrams. It's uh, because of this for space reasons. R is not putting everything because it wants to fit everything in this. Uh, so it's cutting, cutting out. So you see this uh, bigram. It appears three times. So the term frequency is 0 0.273. Um, so we can actually calculate this. I mean, if you see um, uh, three, and then if this abstract. If it is like 300 something words, so that means three divided by those words, then you can you can reach to this number. Um, then you can multiply IDF. Uh, that's the inverse document frequency. That's the logarithm of uh, the formula that I gave you. Um, if you remember from here, uh, so this will be um, the total number of documents divided by the number of documents within term t in it. So we were mentioning COVID. So in this case, if uh, 300 documents contain the term COVID-19, that means uh, we have 382 total abstracts. That means 382 divided by 300, which gives us um, this kind of value. And finally, you can multiply, you can get the dot product of the two, and you can see the term frequency, inverse document frequency value. Actually, we can also um, have a look at this, this uh, tidy uh, COVID, uh, this data frame. So this is a title, that's uh, our identifier. 
and then you see um, for each my R seems to be a little bit busy so you have the bigram you have the uh, total number of times the word appears in, in that particular uh, type, I mean particular abstract and you see the term frequency, the inverse document frequency and the TFI DF value so R is calculating everything and it's giving you um, what you need so let me close this and then I will proceed directly into visualizing um, visual and using it in in bar graph so um, let me visualize this uh, these terms in graph this most influential at least we can visualize the 20 most influential terms so to do that let me first bring my TFIDF COVID by gram TFIDF data frame and then I can pipe it with the rest of my my documents so let me use a range a range actually this is already arranged we may not need it to use but to be on the same side if you arrange the same thing with the uh, yeah, so tfidf um so and then i can pipe it so with the mutate so because i want to arrange i want to um arrange in my um, in my bar graph so i can use this mutate i want to arrange them then you can use this factor function by gram and then once you use factors you can give it a label labels labels and then uh, reverse unique make it unique so that means all the uh, all the bigrams they will appear as a unique factor label so unique and that means once you use unique you can call your bigram sorry let me just call my gram my bigram and then at the end i can look maybe let me drag this a little bit so that we can have access to to what is written yeah so let me pipe again so once i have all of this i can call my top n top n function mm. This art is too busy today. I have 8 GB RAM, but it doesn't seem to be working very well. So top n, top n, how many? Let's visualize 20, the top 20, top 20 of them. Actually, I don't need double brackets. Top 20. Then once you have the top 20, you can pipe it with ggplot ggplot function ggplot the same is true like we use a is aesthetic mapping and then what we are plotting is by gram but this time we are not using n we are not plotting them by number of times the word word is up here or by grams up here in in our document but we are using tfidf value tfidf value in the previous section you you remember this in this part we were using n that's the number of times the word it's just using simple frequency but in this case is a weighted measure we are using the weighted measure of the um, representation of the word bigram in in our text data then once we have that we can call our drum drum function that's drum call because we are doing it in in a bar graph we can use a field i personally as i said i like this turquoise turquoise color uh, if I don't make any mistake with the spelling let's see Tur turquoise and then once we have uh, the color levels we can label maybe we can label it y level y axis level maybe we can use tf idf then at the end we can use we don't need x levels because x is already leveled uh, uh, by you know but by each at least the tick levels actually we can also label y but